from subliminal imagery to dated stereotypes, much has been written about details later deemed inappropriate in kids' films. But what about the mature themes and jokes put there intentionally for older audiences? While these scenes may provide parents with a little chuckle or food for thought, they could also lead to some pretty awkward conversations with their kids afterwards. Here's our list of 10 inappropriate scenes in kids' movies. Zootopia Although Judy Hopps acts as if she's above corruption when investigating the missing otter in Zootopia, she uses several questionable tactics to uncover the mystery, including but not limited to blackmailing and coercing Nick, as well as colluding with Zootopia's organized crime element. Judy's by-the-book persona goes out the window completely when she has Mr. Big threaten to ice Duke Weaselton in order to scare some information out of him. I guess the moral of this story is that the ends justify the means. Toy Story As early as their first film, Pixar was slipping in jokes that only older viewers would catch. Did you ever notice the toy in Toy Story that's a clear allusion to the sex trade industry? Of course this is in the deranged Sid's bedroom, seen when all of his mutilated toys come out from under the bed. There's one that looks like a Barbie doll's legs attached onto a fishing line with a hook on the end, literally turning her into a hooker. Shrek there's a lot more that's inappropriate about Lord Farquaad than just his name. Did you ever wonder what he was doing in his bed when he asked the mirror to show him Princess Fiona's image again and again? There's even a subtle movement under his covers when he takes a peek for some reason. Really, the mirror's disgusted face says it all. Toy Story 3 one of the great things about Toy Story 3 was that it felt like it was made for fans who grew up with the first film and were now the same age as Andy as he headed off for college. The image of Woody's friends joining hands and accepting their impending incineration recalls stories told about real-life tragedies. This is easily one of Pixar's most intensely disturbing moments. Thank God for the claw saving the day just as the toys had accepted their fate. Despicable Me 2 Even though Despicable Me 2 was only released a few years ago, there's one scene that probably wouldn't make it past censors today. When Gru is having a bad date with the shallow, annoying Shannon, Lucy saves him by shooting Shannon in the rear with a mild moose tranquilizer. While it's obvious that Gru didn't administer the drugs himself, just having a date end up drugged and in such a compromising position is bad for business, even for a supervillain. The Good Dinosaur Considering that The Good Dinosaur seemed to be more in line with Cars and that it was a Pixar film with very little adult appeal, there was one scene that seemed particularly out of place. No, not the scene where Arlo's father dies, by now that's par for the course in Disney films. We're talking about the scene where Arlo and Spock trip balls and hallucinate on some rotten fruit. Their out-of-body experience looks like a pretty fun time, despite the brief drug hangover. Inside Out As if Inside Out's Riley doesn't have enough problems, it's likely things could actually get worse for the 11-year-old. Things got so bad in the film that she stole her mom's credit card, ran away, and hopped a bus to Minnesota. While we see her finally adjusting to her new home near the end, we can't help but think that her world could easily be crushed again if her dad ever finds out that her mom daydreams of an ex-boyfriend anytime she needs to go to a happy place, implying that she regrets her choice in husbands. Perhaps the sequel will be about Riley's emotions during her parents' turbulent divorce? Ghostbusters In the 1980s, the lines between kids' movies and adult fare was a little more blurred than it is now. For example, you have a film like Ghostbusters, a PG-13 movie with lots of mild swearing and sexual innuendo, yet marketed towards kids with toys and an animated series. One scene in particular that shouldn't make any sense to younger viewers is as brief as it is inappropriate. We're referring, of course, to the now infamous fellatio scene that implies Ray is receiving oral sex from a ghost. Don't expect anything like this in this summer's reboot. How to Train Your Dragon 2 This next entry isn't so much inappropriate as it is just an unexpected nod to a character's sexuality. The world of How to Train Your Dragon is filled with gruff vikings, so it may surprise you to find out which character is actually gay. In How to Train Your Dragon 2, Hiccup's parents reunite and start bickering right away, causing Gobber to comment, This is why I never married. This and one other reason. This is why I never married. This and one other reason. That other reason could be anything, but actor Craig Ferguson and director Dean DeBlois have both confirmed that Gobber just hasn't found the right man. If anything, the line is a little too subtle. Perhaps How to Train Your Dragon 3 will contain a more overt reference to Gobber's sexuality. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs in the third Ice Age film, Buck, the weasel voiced by Simon Pegg, goes a little too far when sharing stories with the possums. Buck is about to tell them about the time he used a sharpened clamshell to turn a T-Rex into a T-Rachel when the mammoths put an end to fairy tale time. Parents watching were probably very thankful that Buck didn't go into any more detail about his crude castration of a dinosaur. These are just a few of the jokes and references that hopefully went over kids' heads. Did any go over ours? Tell us what we missed in the comments below.